good. Okay, so here we have Rogue. Rogue and his brother is out there. Okay, so this is the two boys that they're three years old. In this sort of situation right now, just giving the dog something to do, making the dog follow rather than lead, they would start fighting. <coughs> or fighting, they'd get into total dominance, they challenge each other. Both unneutered. Definitely advise neutering for them. So one of the things we're also adding is place training. So here we're teaching Rogue, in this case, how to get his affection, how to get his cash for the day, his money. And mum's learning at the same time. So we're doing name, command, affection. That's it. Relax that arm. Good. So we're doing name, command, affection. Name, command, affection. And he's getting his daily food fed by the hand. And there will be, ideally, you would have a treat pouch or something like that to be able to do it. So remember what you're doing is you're naming command and then pulling the leash if needed. Nice. Only if needed. Any affection. <coughs> now because both dogs get excited enough for the world when you give them a bit of affection, we're keeping our affections to good, not yes. We're keeping it to good. So we're teaching the dog you get paid if you go onto this mat. So we're making a really good positive association between the mat and getting paid. And his brother's out. This is his brother. Rogue. And little Tinkerbell. Good. So this really helps build engagement. Good. Now there you probably didn't need to pull the lead. He probably would have, yeah. fought, he would have followed yeah. you. Rogue. Yes. Nice. Now what you need to be a wee bit better at is your... The ang yeah, the angle, like move him a bit further away and then like walk him into it. Because remember the thing he's he knows the least is the words coming out your mouth. Yeah. The thing he knows the most is the pressure and release and your through the leash and your body language. Okay. Nice. So this is good because then you'll be able to rewatch this video to see kind of where you're going wrong. <coughs> Not where you're going wrong because you're doing it, but where you could be better. Good. Good. And it's important to practice this exercise after you've walked the dogs as well. That's very good. Because the goal is then to work on the three Ds. When you're then getting them learning place, you then can add distance, duration and distraction. But this is just day one for them learning, learning some structure. We want them when the door goes that they can just wait on place. Move him further away, come back again. Yeah, or just find the right angle. Get him into place. Good. Good, well done. So when you're doing training like this, this is the piano lessons, it should be fun, enjoyable for the dog, uh, but, but not negotiable. Nice. Good. That's better. Now you'll see a lot of times we're doing yes. good and then we do yes when releasing the dog. But I would say just stick with good to the now because the, as I say, the dogs get too excited. And you know, and dogs, some dogs get it quicker than others. So when we film and we do Phoenix's brother, uh, this one's rogue, but when we do when we do Phoenix's brother, uh, you'll find he, he, we've already done a bit of place with him. He knows it a bit easier and you can just kind of compare yes. to remind yourself. Good. So, Please. so watch this, right? So you hold this in that hand and just like film me a wee bit. Stand mm -hmm. there. So I just show. Now Rogue's also a bit more um, sensitive to me, like Phoenix actually, who you thought was a bit more of the instigator, is actually better with me. But what we're teaching him, you be have him beside you like this when you take him. Right. But we're kind of having it a bit. Like this, so it's a wee bit confusing for the dog. So, take him, Rogue, place. Good. Boom. And this is where ideally you're having the um, treat pouch. You can just play, boom. The, the money comes when I get what I want first. So when I get what I want, you get what you want. Right. That's the only way it works. I don't use the food to make him, to make him go on place. 
right? What I do is I let him get on place, then I use the food, okay? So ideally I wouldn't do this. Thought I dropped food there, did you see that? Yeah. Uh, um, I wouldn't normally do this because I'm almost kind of like, uh, roll, roll, break. I'm not trying to lure him with the food. Right. Ideally, if I had the food already attached to me, mm -hmm. I can then use the food to when I get what I want. So, rogue. There, it's not a good angle. Start again. Hold on. Get him where you're set up, kind of like on a walk. Rogue, please. Make sure you've almost, when you're going back on, turn back round and have him the side that you want him on before you start. <coughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't have him. I wouldn't start that yet because he's like behind me. I want him further. Well, come I want him more beside me. Very untrusting of like the stranger. Rogue. Please. Okay, so when you rewatch that, you'll kind of see maybe get them into the angle you want before you line them up on the runway before you put them onto place. Mm. Okay, you can pop, stop, pause, or stop that. <coughs> the middle button, just push the middle. 